Dear child of God, you know that God has a plan for you. He has a very beautiful plan for your life. He has a very awesome plan for your destiny. And he says to you that those plans are plans of good and not of evil to give you a future and a hope and to bring you to an expected end. Dear child of God, you don't have to worry how your life is going to turn out. God has everything in plan and is going to make sure that you have a beautiful life. God has everything in place and is telling you, do not worry. I have everything about your life covered. Everything that you would ever become. Every single thing that you would ever achieve. I have it written in my book and I would make sure you achieve each and every one of them. You see, he told Jeremiah that before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you, I called you and I ordained you a prophet. Dear child of God, God have ordained every single thing that you would ever become. He said before you came out, I've ordained you, I've sanctified you. I've separated you for the nations, for the things that you are going to accomplish. Dear child of God, you may not know it, but God knows it. God knows every single thing that he has said you would become and you would definitely become it. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3, the word of God says, I do not know, but God knows my God. I love the scripture so much. He says, I do not know. I do not have any idea about it. But God knows. God has everything already planned out. He told Jeremiah something. He said, your future, everything about your life, everything about your destiny, before you came from your mother's womb, everything was settled. Dear child of God, Everything about your life is settled. You should know today that every single thing about your destiny is settled. He knows every single thing that you would become even before you came to the face of the earth. You see, before Jesus was born, every single thing that Jesus would ever become was settled by the Father. He called him a counselor. He called him a prince. He called him wonderful things. He said he's wonderful. He's excellent. He will do glorious things on the face of the earth. He said he's going to save sinners from sin. Dear child of God, and every of these things, Jesus accomplished it. This is what I want you to know. Everything that God wants you to do on the face of the earth, everything that God has assigned for you to do, you will do them. He knows every single one of them. And the good news is that he had settled each and every one of them. He said he foreknew you. He predestinated you. He said he made you to conform to the image of the Son, to what he had prepared for you already. This is what I want you to know, dear child of God. God has predestinated everything about your life. Is written out clearly in his book and you are going to achieve it. David came to that point that he asked the Lord. He said, tell me what is written in your book for me. Show me every single thing concerning my life. The things that I ought to do, the things I ought to achieve, the things that you have said I'm going to do. And God began to unveil every single one of them as found in Psalms 139. Dear child of God, every single thing, every single thing that you are to achieve, every single thing that you are to do on the face of the earth, God knows them and is telling you today you would accomplish each and every one of them. He's telling you today, you will walk into that destiny that he has written out for you and nothing will be able to stop you. No enemy will be able to stop you. You have a great future, dear child of God. You have something beautiful that you are going to achieve. 
So do not give up on yourself right now. Do not think that there is nothing beautiful attached to your life. I want you to know that when God begins to unveil every single thing that he has written about you, the things that you are going to achieve, the things that would make you significant on the face of the earth, you are going to be so amazed. You are going to be so surprised knowing that God has carefully worked everything out. So do not complain, dear child of God. You see, when Jeremiah began to complain, God had to tell him that he had touched him, he had touched his tongue with a coal of fire. Do know this today, dear child of God, that whatever it is that God wants you to do, that whatever it is that God wants you to accomplish, he would make sure you accomplish them and he would make every provision available unto you. The road you are going to take and what you are going to accomplish each and every one of them are settled already. They are settled by God and you would accomplish them. So every day of your life, when you wake up, turn to God and say, Father, I know you have a great future concerning my life. I know you have wonderful things that you have written out for me. Please keep leading me on that path. Help me to walk in that direction until I fulfill each and every one of them. Jesus came into the synagogue. He came into the temple and he found where it was written of him. Dear child of God, the things that was written concerning his life, the things that were written of him was made available to him. He opened the scrolls and then his fame spread abroad. This is what I want you to know. There is something about the scriptures. There is something about the holy book that would unveil a lot of things to you. Go close to the perfect law of liberty. Behold the scriptures every day and you will begin to transform into that image that God has written out concerning your life. Do not doubt your existence. Do not doubt the things that God has said you will do. And I want to assure you today, you will definitely achieve it. He says, I know the plans that I have for you. He says they are plans of good, they are thought of good, they are thought of wonderful future. They are thought to give you a hope and to bring you to that expectation, to bring you to that expected end. Dear child of God, if the Lord doesn't have great plans for you, he would not have told you. He would not have told you to be at peace, that you will walk into that destiny, into that glorious future. So every day of your life, have a reason to rejoice. Every day of your life, have a reason to be excited. Every day of your life, relax and tell God, I know I'm walking into my purpose. I know I'm walking into my destiny and I will definitely fulfill it. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will definitely fulfill it in the name of Jesus. No one thing today, the lines are falling in pleasant places for you and God will continually direct your path. He will give you revelations. He will give you ideas that will cause you to be a great achiever. He will give you ideas that would make you significant on the face of the earth. He has sanctified you. He has separated you for the specific task that you are going to accomplish on the face of the earth for the things that he had assigned for you and you would do them and every single day of your life you would have a reason to rejoice because God had brought his word to pass because God is fulfilling that destiny that destiny he has separated you for and that he had called you for so do not doubt anything about your destiny for he have told you before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet. I ordained thee to fulfill destiny. I ordained thee a servant. I ordained thee that kingdom star. And definitely you would achieve the purpose of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Trust in God and you'll see wonders all the days of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.